Anaheim Children's Ministry. Please join Kareen and I as we sing, Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. sin and death and that um, he forgave our sins and that was a pretty fun service to celebrate but the good news is is that we get to keep on celebrating that Jesus is alive. Uh, today we are going to read from the children's story and uh, this is the book we're reading from and after Jesus rose from the grave he went out and he had these appearances and his disciples were still kind of confused by what was going on and so this story um, illustrates that. And so here's the story. It's called Breakfast with Jesus. Jesus was alive again. The disciples had seen him with their own eyes. But where was he now? When would they see him again? And what were they supposed to do in the meantime? I'm going fishing, Peter said. We'll go with you, said Thomas, Nathaniel, James, John, and two other disciples. They climbed into their fishing boat and rowed out onto the lake. They knew their fishing nets. They threw their fishing nets into the water. Curse, splash. Then they waited. And waited. And waited. They waited all night, but they didn't catch any fish. Not one. So there they are in the Just as morning came, Peter and the others saw a man standing on the shore, but they didn't know who it was. The man called to them, Friends, do you have any fish? No, they answered, not one. Throw your net over to the right side of the boat, the man said, and you will find some fish. I guess we could try it, the disciples said to one another. They threw the big, heavy net into the boat on the right side. Suddenly, the net filled with fish, lots and lots of fish. Something like this had happened once before. Do you remember? Peter, James, and John remembered. That man on the shore is Jesus, John said. Peter was so glad to see Jesus again that he jumped into the water and swam to shore while the other disciples brought in the boat. There on the beach, Peter saw James, saw Jesus, and a little fire. Bread and fish were warming over the fire. Bring some of the fish you caught, Jesus said. Let's have breakfast. What? So, because they were hungry from fishing all night. So Peter pulled the net full of fish into the beach and brought some of the fish to Jesus. When the, bre when the breakfast was ready, what? everyone gathered. I was choking. The fish are cooking on the fire. When the breakfast was ready, everyone gathered around the fire, and Jesus served the bread and the fish to his friends. Oh, how good it was for the disciples to be with Jesus again. Then Peter heard Jesus ask, Peter, do you love me more than these? You know that I love you, Lord, Peter said. Do you love me? Jesus asked again. You know that I do, Lord, Peter said. Peter, do you love me? Jesus asked again. That made three times Jesus asked Peter the same question. Hmm, do you remember what happened just a little while earlier? Just as Peter had denied knowing Jesus three times, 
Now three times he said he loved the Lord. Lord, you know everything, Peter said. You know that I love you. Feed my sheep, Jesus said, and follow me. Jesus had forgiven Peter and given him important work to do. Who are some of your friends? My friend is Kate Waverly. No? What do you think? What do you think makes a good friend? I think that you should be kind and nice. But what do you think? What makes a good friend? Um, by hugging them and loving them and helping them get up. Yep, that's right. What do you guys think makes a good friend? By Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Jesus is our friend when we obey his commands, when we do what he says. He is the best friend we will ever have. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, my very best friend. I love him. Amen. Thanks for joining us for online children's ministry. We'll see you next week. Bye.